and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for our monthly special stream. This is our sub battle stream. This is where I'm going to be playing against subscribers all day. We're going to have a lot of fun to pick what deck I'm going to be playing each round. We have a wheel that we're going to be spinning because I can't decide. So we'll decide for you. Huh? That's pretty good. But yeah, so we have like 30 decks here on the wheel that we've been playing uh, just on stream. I'll be spinning that. Um, and uh, so we'll have a different deck every single round. The person I'm playing against, of course, will have their awesome decks as well. And um, and that's it. And basically, you know, we'll kind of we'll kind of keep keep score over here. This is the the day of the month that the uh, this we always do this the last Saturday of the month, and this is the day where uh, the everybody in Twitch chat gets to cheer on everybody else and cheer against me here. Thank you, Jay Gomez. I need that. All right, so our our first person that we're going to be playing against, we got Jay Gomez here. Um, so I will spin this wheel. Let's see what deck I'm going to be playing first. Torbrand Sacrifice. This is a fan favorite over on YouTube. All right, so we're gonna go to challenge. Uh, make sure you make sure you have it chosen best of three. I won't have like all the deck lists updated, but I'm gonna show each deck list before we play. I'll show the deck list here on chat. Um, and so this is the Torbrand Sacrifice deck. It's basically um, regular sacrifice with a bunch of red damage sources and Tor brand to make them do even more. So here we go. First match of the day. See, yeah, it's the last Saturday of the decade. Storm, I picked I picked this day because I I was looking at whenever your sub would run out, and so then that that was the that was the goal. Temple of Mystery. They could be playing anything. It's such a mystery. It's such a mystery. Red Horror Butcher is still an underrated card. First, that's just a cool name, Dread Horde Butcher. Cool art. I really like that background. Hmm. More damage. My Tai Tai, what's up? Well, we're doing it all day. You know, we're we're gonna be doing this for the next seven hours. Toti, so yeah, even if you can't quite play yet, you got plenty of time. Oh, you gotta crack that Fable Passage. The Risen Reef may just be chump blocking, though. No! Whoops. Night Pack Ambusher. We got Elemental Wolves. <laughs> I 
<laughs> wolf, wolf mentals. Wolf mentals. Element wolves. Let's slow this down. Let's try this. Attack. <laughs> You're gonna call your deck Angry Bird. There you go. No, I don't. I don't play. Yeah, no, I, I don't play any Mercy here. I don't make it easy. Time wipe? Hey, comics. Ah, the Flash Paradise Druid. Overextending. If Gomez has a time wipe, Dread Horde Butcher still kills him. But besides that, Dread Horde Butcher got that one for me. Well, I want Noxious Grasp, Noxious Grasp, and maybe some Rampages. Um, not Rampages, just, just two Grasp over two Claim, that's all I'm going to do. Hey, Nugagris. Yeah, I mean, I can... Yeah, so we'll be doing best of three, MC. But yeah, if you don't have a sideboard, if you just normally play best of one, we'll still play best of three, but then I just won't sideboard. So just tell me... Yeah, so if, if you want to play best of one... So you don't just play one game. You play two out of three games. But just tell me you don't have a sideboard. And... I just won't sideboard either, and we'll just play two out of three games. Arkbow! Arkbow! Arkbow so cool. Yeah, I really like the Immolation Shaman in this in this deck, especially Immolation Shaman with Torbran. That's pretty awesome. Oh, uh... 
Yeah, the, the thing about playing the Cauldron Familiar turn one and then being able to attack with it turn two and then playing Double Witch's Oven is that they sideboarded in a Devout Decree. Um, they could, or, you know, anything like that, a Glass Casket, anything like that, they could um, exile the Cauldron Familiar and then it'd be gone. And I just don't think the one damage for attacking is worth the risk. If they were playing black and therefore cry the carnarium, we'd want to sack the cauldron familiar again and have it in the graveyard on, on our turn. Poor Tulsimer. This is just such a brutal combination. So you want to do this before before the wolf enters, because if Tulsimer is off the battlefield whenever the wolf enters, then they do not get the three life. They do not get... Because Tulsimer has to be in play for them to gain three life and have their wolf fight. Now, if we play Torbran, yeah, you're yep, yeah, you can still join. Um, you just got to be here after after a match, so basically after this game. Yeah, new drawing after every after every game. Now, whenever we get Torbran in play, then this Mayhem Devil does three damage a turn instead of one damage a turn, and it's just all lightning bolts. So basically the only the only chance that Jay Gomez has is removal. Like white source planar cleansing. Like creatures aren't gonna do it. I didn't do the whole culture familiar thing on their end step because if I if I do that and then he activates Arcbow and grabs like another Tulsmer and kills the Mayhem Devil because then I did that. I I didn't want that to happen. I wanted to have the um the ammunition to be able to protect Mayhem Devil if need be. Alright, so it's actually better for me to let this resolve. And let him take the Witch's Ovens. Which I guess I could have just done this the first time. Then I, I just get to activate the Witch's Ovens more. Which, yeah, I guess I could have just done that the first time. It doesn't really matter. I Yeah, I guess I, guess I could have done more damage. Yeah, I could have done a lot more damage, actually, now that I think about it, but oh well. So each one of these does three. It's so much damage. Yeah, 
Yeah, because I guess I should have just sacked the, the Cauldron Familiar two more times there, dealt a lot more damage to them, and then let them take... And not not even do any damage to the one three, because then whenever I whenever Torbrand enters, then it, it does three damage to the one three. Yeah, my hands were, were both incredible. You know, like one game having triple Dreadhor Butcher, the other game triple Witch's Oven with the Cauldron Familiar. It, it, that was just basically perfect for me. There, Jake J Gomez. So sorry about that. GG's. Yeah, it's like zero mana, like double lightning bolt for each one of those. Okay, so who's going to be next? So if you are a subscriber, you want to be the next person to play, type the word battle into the chat. Of course, you know, you do have to be a, a subscriber. <laughs> yeah. They get not one damage, and they get three. Hey, we got a lot of people in here. <laughs> All right, everybody, everybody get in there. Okay. It's QQ. All right, so I'm going to spin the wheel. What am I playing? I'm playing Esper Reanimator. All right, so I know QQ's here, so I just do... Okay, so we just do that, friend challenge. Okay, QQ set it up. Cool, all right, so Esper Reanimator, let's check out our deck. So this deck, because that other, you know, because we're playing such nice decks today, this deck is all about just reanimating Agent of Treachery and flickering Agent of Treachery and steel and everything. Um, I need to I need to change my avatar, because I'm the the big bad guy. We were gods once. I am. Hmm. I... Let's knock them dead. I have a few. Probably Nicobolas. Minions, if you're interested. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Jake. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, because you already played Jago as though. Probably, probably not. We'll see though. If we if we run out of people, um, I want to make want to have it just one one person, or like one one try each so we get everybody in. But if it if we do run out of people later on in the stream, then yes. This is what I get for being Nicol Bolas. Folio of Fancies. QQ's gonna mill me out. So no white mana for Teferi. Yeah, Blood for Bones with Agent Treachery is pretty ridiculous. Hmm. 
So I kept a card on top. QQ got another card from me by by waiting until I drew and then milled me. But the problem is, is I kept a card on top. And so the fact that I kept a card on top probably means I need to... I need more land. Give me that. I guess I could have picked up the Scholar and then grabbed all these Blood for Bones back. Might have been dead there, honestly. The problem with going Charming Prince Flicker and take another land, or just even take anything else, was that then I was going to be drawing. I guess what? I guess I'd have two agents, so I'd be drawing six cards at end step. So I'd have to win before draw, before milling out. I might have been dead. I was not attacking for very much. Would have been close. So I can take out the Legion's Ends. I want another Thought Erasure. <clears throat> Probably want Grasp. Actually, I probably just want Deputies. No, we can do other formats too if you want to play historic or um or brawl i have a brawl deck so yeah we can do other formats So I'm kind of thinking that QQ is going to mill some cards over for me and we find something cool in our graveyard and we have Blood for Bones to sack the Charming Prince. May not be the case, but that's what I was kind of thinking. Yeah, I couldn't add in Pioneer right now. It's into Arena because, you know, it's thousands. You know, it's like a, thousands of cards. I don't think they would be able to add that in right, right away. I could have played Wall of Lost Thoughts and milled them for. Milled QQ. I don't want to mill over my Fable Passage. I want that.
There's no agent of treacheries in here. one thing unless I want to deputy the rule of law which I don't really want to do right that was coming to play tapped anyway Okay, so that's pretty good. Kiku can play Teferi or Prison Realm on his turn, and then on my turn, I play my one spell, and it gets countered and can do that a couple of times. QQ just kept a card on top. I'm going to mill it. Oh, folio. Got to draw it. Dang, got me in the hard lock here with this rule of law counterspell combo. I'm in the hard lock. With only having sorceries. I need to play some instants. I don't know if I have incense in, in the sideboard, but yeah, I guess Sorry, even with Teferi, I don't get to play incense. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I'm in the hard lock. This game's over. Unless, unless QQ runs out of counter spells. do here oh I have Dovin's vetoes that's a good card I don't think I realized I had Dovin's Veto. All 
All right, game three. No blue. The double prints. So look for blue. So Tonebound Lich Ditching Agent of Treachery is like my highest upside play. I'll go ahead and do that. So I could have Blood for Bones for it next turn. Or I could have Thought Erasure Charming Prince. All right, well, no Ashiok with Bantmena. Could take the folio fancies, but I think it's probably the most devastating to take the land. I don't know. None of those, none of those cards matter. Thanks for that resub. It's going to be a good day for team chat. I can feel it. Well, I have some bad news. Agent Treachery is a mean, mean card. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a very rude deck. Get to hold up Dovin's veto also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have I have lethal power in play anyway. I don't really need to take the prison realm.
I mean, that is my best curve, right? Like, turn four, Agent of Treachery doesn't get better than that. And then turn five, like, double Agent of Treachery. Does not get any better than that. My schemes. GGQQ. That uh, second game was pretty awesome. <clears throat> All right, so there we go. We're starting the next one. So if you're a subscriber and you want to play, do just like everybody else here is doing in chat right now. Type in the word battle. Just for subscribers. Sorry. It's the it's okay. That's why it's sub sub battle day. If you want to get in on it, you know, of course you can you can subscribe as well. No, it no, it doesn't matter how you write the word. Um if you just write the like LB, you're gonna be entered now because you just wrote the word in your sentence. Um and so yeah, it's uh Counts anybody who just writes the word at all. <laughs> all right, is everybody in there? Last chance. Rex. Rex is up. For the for the reanimate deck we just played, is that what you want, Menk? I don't really have a four color reanimate. We that was just oh, because I stole I stole QQ's land. Um But that was That was this That was this list, at least the, the list that we ended at the end of the video, I think. Or actually, maybe it's this one. One of those. All right, I need to, all right, um, Rex says historic. Okay, so direct challenge. Or Rex, are you over here? Did you send me the gamer tag, Rex? Yeah, send me your gamer tag. There's mine. All right, so we're doing historic. why it doesn't have the historic decks on here oh I guess the historic decks are down here all right I think I'm just gonna be um, just choosing one of these or I'll let QQ go ahead QQ go and change choose one from Grixis kicker to Orzov control one of these Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Choose one of those eleven decks. Yeah, just whenever you direct challenge people, it doesn't doesn't count towards your it doesn't count towards your achievements. All right, uh, Boot, pick one. QQ's not answering. Boot, you pick one. One of these 11 decks from Grixis Kicker to Orzov Control.
Uh, okay, you're you're playing. Uh, that's the deck you're playing, Rex. Okay. Okay. Mono Black Crisis, it is. <clears throat> yep, challenge best of three. All you have to do is change it to best of three. Don't change anything else. Hey, Brainfly. What's up? Yeah, this is historic. Yeah, this is a. I have a. Yeah, this is a historic deck. Just waiting on Rex. Well, if it's if it's not triggering anything, then something's typed wrong. What's what's wrong? Either either you look at your screen and look at mine as. What's typed wrong? Yeah, like the, the gamer tag, something's wrong somewhere. Yeah, capitalization has to be correct. Your screen looks like mine. All right, and you did direct challenge. You just changed it to best of three, nothing else. Because if we have one of the other settings wrong, it would it would stop the match and tell you you have one of the settings wrong. This is this is the names not being correct somewhere. Yeah, that's that's what I have. Big red mini number six eight two one four. I'll try recopying and pasting. There it goes. There must have been something wrong with my copy paste or something. I don't know. Hey, drug wizard. All right, so we're playing Mono Black Crisis. Take Ritual of Sit. Did not take Ritual of Sit. Pretty great hand.
Just two cards left, though. I think that was a quick scry to the top. The arena. That's such a cool card for Xen Arena. I may regret discarding that Ritual of Soot. Could be Josu Vest that makes a bunch of 2-2s. Two -twos. I should have just played the ca simply played the castle and kept the Swamp in hand. I played the Swamp because Rex knew about the Swamp, but I should have just played the castle. Kept the Swamp in hand to discard. Just five lands over there. Nicol Bolas isn't <clears throat> isn't threatening to flip this next turn. Yep, that's on. Yeah, yeah, we're playing Mono Black Crisis. So many cards. I don't think I need to keep the swamp in hand to try to trigger Dread Presence. I think it's better to keep keep getting more and more lands out so I can play more and more cards. God, once again. So I'm one mana away from playing Dread Presence Death. and Golos together. Which would give me a swamp. Ugh. We didn't. We did not get that land though. <clears throat> well, I guess I wish I would have kept the swamp. And then I could have played Dread Presence Swamp to kill Nicobolas. I guess that would have been better. Yeah, it's just it's just you might as well have the second copy in play instead of having the second copy in your hand so that if one copy would get destroyed for some reason, you have the other copy in play. Just like if, if your choices are either
either you know have it in hand or have it in play it's better to have it in play Yay, a swamp. Oh no, so yeah, it's it's sending you the link, J yeah, JJ, it's sending you the link to the card, as you see there, with the bot. Because Nickel Bolas the Ravager is just too much text to put in the in the chat. So it's sending you the, the link to the card. I could have played Mindstone also if I would have just played Mindstone and then Murderous Rider. I think I think I'm okay though. This game shows this game has showed how good Phyrexian Arena is, drawing two cards a turn. And that's better than scrying two a turn. Yeah, I'm down another eight cards. Need Star of Extinction? No Star of Extinction. Alright, well Noxious Grasp can go. Hmm. I have too many cards I want to play. Hey, Campfire, good afternoon. This is too many cards I want to play. Because I still kind of want to play... Just play the two Legion's Ends. I don't want to be dead to like the Josie Vest like we saw there. Josie Vest can be a problem. Maybe Ashiok's not actually good. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of night stuff with Throne of Eldraine draft for sure. Hey, J Jack. <laughs> Your last two drafts were Boros Knights and Rectos Knights. Uh, 
Alright, we'll get the fires out of here. Even though there's two nickel boluses. And nickel boluses. You know, like a... It's like a three for one. Eat my image. Wipe your bloodline from existence. My schemes are never ending. I don't know. They'll probably end eventually. Thanks to the tier one sub. That is our sixth of the you day. Have no weakness that I cannot exploit. I will return. Yeah, I mean, all those nickel boluses are... I mean, maybe I should have taken one of those. Fires obviously can just lead to really powerful things. <clears throat> That's a tough call. So if Rex would have milled over himself, he would be able to flip the Ascanta right now. I'm not sure if that's, you know, more valuable than milling me. Usually you'd want to mill your opponent with that. With like, with, especially this kind of matchup, you really want to mill your opponent. This would be like a, a weird scenario to not mill the opponent. <laughs> yeah, we've had we we have had a great run Campfire Studios. Have had a great run. I came into being long before your kind. Another I can create or destroy. Nope. So I think I really got to get rid of that Ascanta. Or as Canted gets lots and lots of awesome cards. Uh, that, speaking of awesome cards. I guess I need to get rid of Fires of Invention. No one can stand in my way. <clears throat> so that gets back Nickel Bolas. And this is over. I guess the Nickel Bolas, the Arisen, is another reason to play. And, and as Kanta. Those are both reasons to play Ashiok. Hmm. Uh, it didn't it didn't fund dang dang yeah I think I should bring in Ashiok. it's just kind of hard to fit in All the cosmos Where it should go. To control.
That's a bunch of nothing. All right, I'm going to try it over Dread Presence. Yeah, no, whatever for whatever format you want, Brainfly. Uh, this is the same kind of hand where it just doesn't do anything until Hydrocrasis later on, and it's just so slow. I'm going to keep, though, because I guess this is it's good to be able to hit land drops against Thought Erasure, and just Grixis decks in general. Like It's not good to mulligan against Grixis decks. We're just going to have to hopefully draw some lower curve things. That was not it. This would be a good time to draw a Phyrexian Arena or an Ashiok. Dang. All right, well. Doesn't look good. Awesome. Yeah, glad yeah, glad you're liking that. this in play. Oops. All right, much better hand than I got. Should have Mulgand. Well, that was a good draw. But I don't know if we can still beat as Kanta Fires of Invention. be surprised if we could, but that was a good draw. No, all my good cards. All four of those would be good draws. I mean, Legion's End would let me see their hand at least and get rid of that. Legion's End wouldn't be as good, but these other three would have been good, especially those two. But four spells in a row like that, that probably means that I'm about to hit a land... So basically, if Rex draws one land, gets to kick Josu Vess, and I die, that's a, that's a good quality hand. So yeah, I mean, I need this Legion Zen too. Ah, it was a was a Spry land. Nightmares. Amen. 
I did the Ashiok first to try to hit a basic with Ashiok. And so, so that they didn't have a basic to grab. That's what I tried. Well, the Bolus is probably going to kill us, but we were definitely dead if I don't blow up the fires because the Josu Vest definitely kills us. This is probably going to kill us, but we're not certainly dead. We were certainly dead if I would have killed Nicol Bolas. No, the kicker costs aren't cast for free, but the cards cast for free. So, so you just have to pay six mana. For, you still have to pay six mana for kicker, but they were going to be able to play the Josie vest for free and then kick, kick it. This is a really good quality game three hand, and their game one hand was awesome too. But. Fires invention still good. Yeah, we'll we'll play we'll play uh, this deck. Or very, very similar deck. We're going to be playing Grixis Kicker tomorrow. So surprised Nicol Bolas wasn't activated either of those turns. A lot of Enter the God Eternals. Bleh. GG's. All right, two and one team chat on the board. GG's there, Rex. All right, so let's see who is going to be up next. All right, so if you want to play up next, type the word battle into the chat. Got to be a subscriber, of course. As it's sub battle Saturday. Team chat with the W. It's two and one now. <laughs> Team chat with the dubs. <sighs> no, I am two and one. I lost the last one. All right. Looks like everybody's in there. And the winner is Gare. All right, Gare, send me that gamer tag. There's my gamer tag right there. Let's let the wheel decide what is next. Okay, well, yeah, if you if you added me on Arena, send me a challenge. 
Abzan Rampage. This deck's good. Or I, I could send a challenge too, I guess. Where's Gare? Right here. So challenge. Best of three. How do we, how do you battle? Basically, I just need your your gamer tag, um, and we do it through the direct challenge thing here, or you could do it through the friends list. Either one. Gare, are you? You're not. Did you accept? All right, cool. Plain standard. Got to accept the battle thing so we can continue. Oh, you sent really request also? This is... This... What? There. All right, I'm. Uh, this this thing does not work. All right, so. All right, go ahead. Send send the request now. I guess if you both send a send a request, then it's not good. It doesn't work. Then it doesn't work. I don't think this is a, really an easier situation than... This does not seem like an easier situation than just doing... Putting in the... The gamer tags like before. Alright, so I'm playing Abzan Rampage. Here's the deck. This is... Yeah, you know, this is a, the slow deck that's all about Cauldron Familiar, which is of Entrela Crumbs. But then we have Smothering Tithe and Rampage of the Clans. We're trying to win with a whole bunch of Centaurs. Definitely a very good deck. This is probably the best, or if not one of the best decks that, that are on the wheel to spin. All right, I'll have the Fable Passage go get a green source for me. Swamp, swamp. Ben Lurker. Trail of Crumbs. Should it help me stay in this? Uh, 
Uh, got me. What a mess I've made. Kind of want to just put 15 power into play. But it's just so all in. Just two all in. So much click in. Our value. Okay, keeping them both on top. Probably finding those land drops. <laughs> Time for a drink. Carly. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Trail of Crumbs is brutal. It's our seventh sub on the day. There we go. All right, do some more blocking. I am whole. I need for blood. All right, so having the Gilded Goose add mana so that we can get both Trail of Chrome's activations. That was like a regular land, not a shock land. I may have taken it, but I don't really want a shock land here. All right, good.
Yeah, today's the day for a sub battle stream. I'll have my other goose block this Fenlurker also. He doesn't have tra trample, right? So I don't I don't mind Gary using all that mana. Okay, now what am I doing? Probably doing that during combat. Killing the Soren. I don't know, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It is pretty silly, this com this combo. I did not expect this combo to be as good as it is. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. Thirty six damage. That's all I gotta do. What a good mindless minion. Thirty seven damage. Vampire assemblies are useful traits. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's thirty nine. <laughs> Rampage of the clans. All of these centaurs. Centaurs attack. <laughs> Why is Rampage an instant? Because you could go on Rampage at any time. The clans, you never know when the clans will Rampage. Could rampage at any point. You never know. Ugh. Yeah, this deck is really strong. What did you just see? Rampage of the Clans. Destroy all artifacts and enchantments for each permanent destroyed this way. Its controller makes a 3-3 green centaur. So I just destroyed 13 artifacts. Made 13 centaurs. So I had 39 power.
Yeah. Yeah, cardboard. This is a, yeah, I made this deck. I I just wanted to play Rampage and Smothering Tithe together. <laughs> Picturing Archer screaming Rampage. <laughs> Rampage. Full house. Keep. That whole game was set up by the just complete card advantage of Trail of Crumbs. Exerbs! Hi again, 10 awesome months. Thanks, Exerbs. Exerif? Exerif. There we go. I'll pronounce it correctly eventually. Exerif, thank you so much. I like a good I'll be back. Kaya. Well. Talk about a card I was not really expecting and or playing against. Right there. I forgot about Kaya. I need to sideboard differently <clears throat> to play around Kaya. And obviously I should have discarded the scarce. Realm Cloak Giant, not the Oath of Kaya. Kaya eating all your food is great flavor. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make myself scarce. Did not play this game very well around Kaya at the beginning parts. Yep. Another one. Dispatch, am I? Dematerialize me? I probably should have just played Trail of Crumbs and Murderous Rider this turn with my five mana. And then had triple Trail of Crumbs. Just you wait. Or after that.
Yeah, Kaya, yeah, Kaya is awesome. I agree, Kaya is underutilized, I agree. Be gone. So I need to keep all of my Rascal Gari Queens in. I took Bye. out just a lot of Rascal, you know, I took out all my Rascal Gari Queens. I need to put them all back in <clears throat> as efficient ways to get rid of Kaya. That was a good turn for me. I demand servitude. That's not the ideal time for Rampage of the Clans. <laughs> Kaya killed by her own oath. You got it. You got to watch out when you're taking those oaths. You got to watch out. You never know when they'll come back to haunt you. Great. Hey, Meldovian. Yep, we got three trail of crumbs. Not a whole lot else. Want to be hitting all those cards down at the bottom of our library. It's a bunch of spells. Isn't over yet. It's not over yet.
It's not looking great, but it's not over yet. One, two, three, four. I'm telling you, Candace, it's not over yet. <laughs> Dude, deck's not dead yet. <laughs> Playing the Cauldron Familiar out here could be pretty bad because of Legion's End. So I may regret that. I don't really know the upside. I don't think there's any haste creatures. So there's probably just no upside here. So it's probably just a mistake. Basically, the upside is me being like using this one mana because I'm going to you know, need all the mana possible every turn. Planar cleansing. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It should be over. If I were you, I'd just surrender. <laughs> uh, looks like I'm probably gonna win this now, though. Does four damage to me. I don't know if I want to take four. I got 17. I think this is over. Yeah, this is over. Right? All these cool smothering ties we didn't get to use. I didn't even need this.
Angela Citadel. That car is ridiculous. Yeah, that, that deck is, is really, really, really good. <clears throat> yeah, that's a really good deck. Okay. Man. Gare, good games. I really like your Orza value deck. Sorry, you got paired. That's a tough matchup with Trail of Crumbs. Trail of Crumbs is pretty ridiculous. GG's. Okay, let's do let's do another one. Hey Gary, GG's. All right, if you want to be the if you are a subscriber and you want to play up next, type the word battle into the chat. Yeah, I can definitely understand hating Trail of Crumbs. Yeah, that's that card's pretty unreal playing against that card. That Abzan deck's pretty legit though, being able to play Realm Cloak Giant. And then, you know, you have your Bola Citadel. That deck's pretty legit. It probably... I don't even know if it's... I don't know if it... It's probably not better because of Smothering Tithe and Rampage of the Clans. But, oh well. Oh, I'm sorry, Choco. Accidentally opened the vault you're saving. Yeah, that's an F there. Dejooms, what's up? Okay, looks like everybody's in there. Let's see who's going to be up next. Next battle is Kendis. All right, Kendis. Let's spin the wheel. Let's spin the wheel. Ayara's Citadel. <laughs> Dejuns. Keep that Twitch Prime going. Alright, best of one, yeah. Yep, we can do best of one. Choose choose best of three, Kendis, but I just won't sideboard. So still play best of three, just so we don't have to join another one. All right, and so my deck is going to be a Yara's Citadel. So, of course, a Bola Citadel deck where we're trying to drain out with a Yara, but another Cauldron Familiar deck. I guess I only had room for three Witches Ovens the last time we played this, but that should probably be changed. If this would be updated. This this hasn't been updated in a long time. I don't think this was, has been updated since, since Field of the Dead, honestly. <clears throat> yeah, all you have to do is type the word battle, J-Jack, like everybody else does. Yep, yeah, so you were in there. Yeah, because you, you were, yeah, you were in there. You got to do it again next time, though, too, because I, I restart a new one each time because some people leave, some people join, all that kind of stuff. So I restart it all the time. All right, so I only have 23 lands in here. Well, Fable Passage. Take a land out of the deck. Also. Yeah, th yep, that's definitely true, Debo 4. The, the only reason why this deck would want an extra worry, cat over over an oven because of priest i guess but no i i agree that it's all right so we're deck thinning with our evolving wilds happily ever after
Vlarkin! Getting the sub. Well, thanks, Carly. Thanks for gifting the sub out. That's really nice of you. That's our, that's our sub goal. That's going to work towards our next 12-hour stream. Hmm. I guess I'll sacrifice a Midnight Reaper to draw two. And also just use my mana better. I don't know, like if I, I play the Lazotep Reaver first and then I play the other two cards, maybe, actually, maybe that's not better. Can you play banned cards? No, no, we're playing like regular, regular decks. Without banned That's cards. More like it. Get more lands out of here. So the good news, well, that didn't pan out. I wanted to make sure Teferi didn't didn't uh, wasn't able to minus. <coughs> I was gonna say the the good news is we took a lot of lands out of the deck for the Citadel the next turn. So Kenneth is doing he said just best of one, so you know like we're not sideboarding. Yeah, Kendis is playing with Happily Ever After. <laughs> Storm's giving Kendis all, all his power. And go, Kendis! I'm playing a Yara Citadel. I'd like to play the three drops. Hmm. Draw more cards. We need to hit land drops. Yay, land drop. <clears throat> um... And Midnight Reaper's out here in case of Sweeper. We get to draw a lot of cards still.
had really solid hands with having Priest active. No, no fun allowed today. Sorry, Kendis. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was not a great not a great pairing. <laughs> you get to play you're gonna play your worst deck. It's tough. Sub battle Saturday is tough. Alright, if you're a sub and you wanna play Top Thor Battle. Um Hawkeye's all curled up on the couch right now. Yeah. He's asleep. GG, Kendis. Kendis, you should send me your list. Because, yeah, I was, you know, I got the Happily Ever After. Um, ah, you meant to cast Time Wipe, not Druid. Gotcha. You're still, that would have kept you in it. You're going to be in a, in a tough spot still, you know, with me having the Midnight Reaper. I was just going to refill my hand again. But I would have kept you in it. Yeah, you should send me that list, though. Um, for me to, to take a look at. Because, yeah, I'm going to make the hev Happily Ever After for you tomorrow. So I can kind of take a look and see what you're doing with it. Yeah, Hawkeye's doing good. Today he had um, he had a runny nose again today. And so I'm not exactly, so I'm going to, you know, I'm just keep, I'm keeping monitoring him. Um, but he, so he's still not 100%, but he's getting there. But I, I'm not sure exactly why he has the runny nose now. I don't know. So I'm going to keep monitoring him. Anyway, let's see who we got. We got Brain Fly Wolves. Brain Fly, you're up next. All right, so send me your gamer tag, Brainfly. That's my gamer tag for you to copy paste. You just hit that direct challenge button, and there's your your gamer tag right here. You just click on it, and it copies for you, and then you just paste it over here. While you do that, I'm gonna spin the wheel, see what deck I'm gonna be playing up next. Is it Alliance? Yeah, best of one. Sounds good. So it's still choose best of three over here. You know, like right here, choose best of three. Is it means blue and red combination. then this will be the last match for just the part one and then we'll upload it to part two but yep this is the is it alliance deck okay here we go yeah even my computer is looking a little laggy here after being on for two hours yeah arena needs a reset This is as laggy as I've ever seen it before. Ooh. That's pretty good. We got five lands. We'll need one more for Niv-Mizzet eventually. Hopefully we don't get stuck on lands after putting all those lands down to the bottom. All right, we're not getting stuck on lands. I think that's 
safe to say. Removal spells that don't kill never miss it, the better for me. I hope there's not like doom foretold. Yeah, so at least we still get to draw the card. So that'll do. Perfect. Oh, I should have gone Pyromancer Royal Scions. Yep, should have gone Pyromancer Royal Scions. I still could have killed. Could have killed Liliana and not had my Chandra die before getting an emblem. I just just kind of already playing that. <clears throat> I was playing too fast. And too furious. Plane of cleansing. This looks like a pretty sweet Orzov control deck. Foolish coward. Attacking with the O4. No, no sweet deals on Arena that I know of. I've drawn really, really well this game. I'm not gonna lie. Let's get toasty. Ooh, good double scry. Let us plan for the trials ahead. All right, five lands and a Royal Scion down to the bottom. But I, I can't imagine the emblems do anything, but you know, I can't imagine this game finishes anyway, but the emblems killing Brainfly. Gotta spend four mana for an emblem and a card, and I just get an emblem every turn. My answers lie in the cold truth. Uh, 
All right, so no sideboarding. The brain player was playing best of one. Hey, Freddy Joker. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, brand new sub. Awesome. I don't know who this is. If you're the, the fish person that just sent the friend request, let me know in, in chat. Do I want a fifth land? Probably not. Hey, Freddy, happy new year. <clears throat> All these improbable alliances are not amazing against planar cleansing, admittedly. Do I think Alliance could become meta with Devotion? I mean, it, it really depends on what, you know, what's in the set and everything. Not sure. Ugh, I would have rather discarded the Pyromancer. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the chance of a win is improbable. Um... You know, is it not being able to deal with enchantments is, of course, going to be a hardship on on the strategy. I may look like a demon, <laughs> of Nixilus the Hate Twisted. That's a cool looking card. But the problem is, is if they Ob Nixilus and kill my Crackling Drake, then I draw two. Suffer the dreams of the dark. Hmm. Your struggle is amusing. Thank you. Um Okay, so you're a novice with Arena or like a novice with Crisperian. If um, one thing, if you're kind of a novice to about magic, just in general, this is a really just good article series. I know that that wasn't your question, but I recommend checking that out. But besides that, as just a, a good deck to start with. Um. I would recommend Mono Red Aggro. Boom. <laughs> Knowledge is not without prize. That was almost impressive. Try not to think too hard. Gonna get planar cleansing. All right, Kai's wrath. It's fine. I still draw the card. Oh no. My Skyons. I will 
Steady your main growing. Let us plan for the trials ahead. <laughs> right, I'm going to just keep on uh, looting here. My strategy here. I'm just going to be keeping the two lands in hand to loot away to Royal Skyons. I could, yes, I, I could have scribed before ticking up, but it's just not, just not super valuable that I find, like, I didn't need to, I, what nobody I didn't need knows. to find something this last turn. And having these lands to discard I thought was more important, even, even though Temple can scry. Magic's never been much of a yeah much of a budget game, but yeah the yeah probably yeah going with with an adventure deck. Mono, I think you can mono, I think you can play mono blue without any rares. Also, it's better if you have brazen borrowers, but. Ready, will let us unleash our united strength. I do like Mono Blue. Let's start at a sizzle and see if you make it to the inferno. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? There's I don't have top three ranked budget decks. This is not. Hey Red27, happy holidays. The problem with Mono Blue is going to be like Witch's Oven, Cauldron Familiar, just too cheap. Well, you know. Mana wise. But this is a good, good version of Mono Blue there with. I need to kill that. I guess I could. I can utterly is the best way to destroy things. As the regular version in there and a budget version. Um, yeah, you can watch watch that. That you know, that was like two months ago, so it, it could be updated also. So, you know, like feel free with some of the counter spells if, if um, some of the counter spells are, if there are better ones right now. I'm not exactly sure, like I said, I haven't looked at it completely. <laughs> Wander is pretty sweet. Wander is real good against Jeskai Fires, if you're, especially if you're playing small creatures. Keep your small creatures from getting killed from by Clarion and then exile all the big creatures. A lot louder whenever I play Realm Cloak Giant than whenever my opponent plays Realm Cloak Giant. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Or a burn deck. Don't have to do too much attack in. GG's brain fly.
GG's. I'm not sure if Wanderer stops Chandra emblems. I'm not sure. <clears throat> yeah, never. Yep, yeah, not quite. Not quite. And I just had awesome, awesome hands. I was just curving out really well there. All right, so that's part one of our sub battle stream for those of y'all watching on YouTube. Hope you enjoy the format and hope you have some fun with all these different decks. You know, each round, you know, we get to see so many different card interactions and hopefully you're learning a lot. Make sure you click on over to part two as well. But thanks so much for watching and I'll see you for the next one.